home chef here coming to you today with another great recipe um, totally a family favorite and it is constantly in the rotation for our weekly meals um, I just came from uh, just a quick Costco haul and uh, side note don't try to go shopping the day before a major snowstorm you are so dumb you are really dumb for real I know I wasn't thinking right but um, I made it and so I decided to make us uh, a pizza so if you can think back during the very beginning of the pandemic when the toilet paper was running out the paper towels were running out um, something else that was that ran out for some reason was yeast dry yeast active yeast whatever the the quick one the the, the long one whatever right um, and I couldn't get it. Everybody and their mamas wanted to make their own breads, their own pastas, their own pizza doughs, all that stuff, right? So I had to find a recipe that um, I can make my own pizzas, right? So this is the one that stuck in my household and it became a favorite. They don't wanna eat anything else, right? So I'm here to show you what is included in that recipe, so join me. Before we jump into the recipe, if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing and hit the bell notification so that you can get notified when I'm posting new videos. All right, so here's what you need. You need two and a half cups of flour, um, whatever flour you want. I'm using all-purpose flour. You need one teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of whatever oil you like, um, typically I put olive oil, but this is actually a, a spiced oil. So I use avocado oil and chop up some garlic and ginger and toss it in there. So it's just like a flavored oil. Yummy. And then choose any salt-free seasoning. I love this garlic and herb seasoning that I got at Costco. It was on sale for like $5. So I sprinkle to my liking or till the spirit tells me when, right? And so that is all you need. If you have a food processor, this will make your life easier. Add your salt, add your baking powder, then add however much seasoning you like. Because it's salt free, it just gives the crust a really, really nice flavor. Whisk it up until it's nicely blended. You're also gonna actually need one cup of water. Okay, so now take your one cup of water, put it in your food processor. Take your flour and slowly put it all in there. And then take your oil and drizzle it on in there. Again, the flavor from the garlic and ginger in this oil is gonna, mm, mm, mm. Gonna take that crust to another level. Go ahead and put a lid on it. Make sure you plug in your food processor. And here's the thing, I like to pulse it at first. So just get it, pulse it out gonna start mixing it nice and well and then after a while after a while I'm going to just hold it down take the lid off just to check I like to use a either a spatula or a spoon or something just to get some of these pieces here and also check on the bottom of the blade I feel the dough, feels pretty good. Um, I'm gonna just let it mix just for a little bit longer. Here's when I know it's ready. My lid actually steams up. The dough will get nice and soft to the touch. Now, this today is a little stickier than usual so whenever your dough is a little too sticky 
just sprinkle a little bit of flour. It does not have to be a lot, okay? I even just, I just pinch a little bit of flour and just drop it on in there and it will help it. Okay. good all right make sure you unplug your food processor before you put your hand in there like I just did yeah it's not smart let's get our flat surface ready so I transferred my dough into a bowl I noticed that it was still a little sticky so I sprinkled more um, flour and I was just kind of kneading it you know folding it in pushing it out folding it in pushing it out and it actually came out nice so when you are ready to roll it out go ahead and take it out of the bowl flour up your surface Ooh, i feel fancy whenever i do this i can't help myself i know and when i am ready i'll place it out and roll it out All right, so we are here. Put my pizza dough um, on my tray. It's actually my oven rack that I just pulled out and lined it up with some parchment paper. Um, my favorite brand of marinara sauce is Rio's, and um, you can get it at Costco, a two pack for like 10 bucks. And sometimes it's on sale for only $7.99. So if you want some really good quality pasta sauce, or pizza sauce or really for anything this is very clean ingredients here and I think I I really encourage you to just grab this brand right here okay so I'm gonna take this um, since I've already used half of the jar I'm actually just gonna use the rest of it dump it all out Using a spoon, go ahead and push the sauce in this circular motion all the way around toward the edges. All right, looks good to me. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is I like to sprinkle just a little bit of black pepper. And then that same seasoning, yes, just sprinkle it all over just for some added yumminess. And now is my favorite part is the cheese. So just to show you the cheese that I get, I, I do, we do still eat regular dairy cheese. Um, I also bring in some non-dairy cheese as well. The brand I like to go for is Kerrygold. They are known to have um, cheese from grass-fed cows, which is ideal for your health. It's good for your gut. Um, so this is where I would go for my cheese. Now, if you are vegan um, or for my family, my Ethiopian family that's oming, you can have some vegan cheese. This is my favorite brand or Vio Life, and I'll put it in the description below. But these two brands are great. You will not miss the flavor. The very last thing I like to do is using that same oil, I just brush the crust so that you can eat every little bit of this pizza. I don't know if you're, you guys can tell me in the comments below if you are, if you eat the crust, if you toss the crust. I'm sorry, if you do toss the crust, we may not be able to be friends because I used to always eat stuffed crust pizza and then I just, I don't know why I stopped. Maybe that's another recipe I need to try, make my own stuffed crust pizza. So yeah, brush up the crust. And when we put it in the oven, we're gonna cook this. I, I have my oven 
preheated at 400 degrees. I'm gonna cook it for about 15, maybe 20 minutes. It all depends on your, your oven, right? And then the last maybe few minutes, no more than like a couple minutes, I will put it under the broiler and it will just really crisp up the edges. All right, let's do it. Now remember guys, you can put whatever toppings you want, right? I kept it pretty basic for me and my family today, but you can add some black olives, some peppers, you can add um, some spinach, some meats if you like, but whatever floats your boat, okay? Enjoy it, get creative, put everything, right? Um, except pineapples. Here you go. Here we are. Got the pizza out. I'm gonna let it sit here for just a minute, but while I'm letting it cool off, I like to add some oregano leaves, dry oregano. So um, this is just optional for you. If you don't need it, don't worry. But while it's still warm, I just sprinkle it all over the top. If you like um, red chili flakes, you can toss that as well, but I'm gonna omit that. Only other thing I'm gonna sprinkle on top, or I'm gonna grate some fresh Parmesan cheese and let the heat from the pizza, just let it melt on there. Use the finest part of your grater. And we are ready to slice. For my vegan family or for my family that is um, homing on Wednesdays and Fridays and really want to make this pizza at home, again, the brand that I love to put um, my vegan cheese is Vio Life or the Miyoko's that I showed you earlier. And then for Parmesan, I, I just started using this. This is a, a dairy-free cheese alternative. She uses, um, let's see. I know it's cashews, I think. Yeah, raw cashews and some nutritional yeast and spices. I really, really love her lemon pepper Parmesan. So you can sprinkle this on top of your pizza or if you want a freshly shredded Parmesan cheese, this is the one for you. Okay, um, I'm not, um, I'm not, be, I'm not sponsoring this or or a being sponsored, whatever it's called. I, I just love these brands, and I just want to show you the ones that are really good c for clean eating um, and worth the buy. Our favorite part. Let's try it, right? Um, we actually like our pizza thin crust, so it's semi thin crust. The crust is nice and crispy. Let's just jump right in. I did that and so did you if you tried this recipe. Well done. Mm. Let me just show you the crust, right? Crust is crispy. I know you heard that. Did I crack your screen? I don't know. Mmm. That is good. What, Stacy Chips? You want some of this? Yeah, you do. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is good stuff. Remember the oil that we brushed on top right before we put it in the oven? This makes a world of difference. If you don't eat crust, you will now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. Put you a side of chips. Maybe you make wings. I don't know. But either way, you can pair this up with whatever sides. If you want to be healthy, make a salad. But who does that? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, go ahead and consider to hit the like button, subscribe hit the bell notification, do all of that stuff, right? And then join me for another recipe.